Dennis Brock, inventor of the Brock Magic Cup. And we're here to see what's in the water. We have various places around here where water is gathered because we have decent rainfall. I didn't have to add any. But we're going to see what is in the water, everything from protozoa up to dragonfly nymphs and, and things of that nature. Worm, we, I know where we can find some worms right away. So let's take a walk around the property and see what we can find. What we have here is a pine needle infusion, technically, but an infusion just means a tea. And in this case, it's water and pine needles. But it's been sitting here quite a long time, and there's got to be things in it, because when you have water, you get life, liquid water, that is. So we're going to take some specimens off of the side here, because when you're a creature, get the mosquito first, when you're a creature, you want to hide. When you, and they, almost everything in the universe wants to hide at some point. So we check along the side, we scrape the side, we make the turkey baster that we use only for this purpose, like a big vacuum cleaner. Actually, it's big compared to them, small compared to you. Now we take along the bottom, too. We don't want too much silt because it'll clog up the coffee filter. That had a fair amount in it, but in that silt are creatures. Protozoa, single cell animals, can be seen very, very well with the TEDx objective, but you can see them running around at the low power, so we're going to take a look at that too. So, and we go off the top, right off the top. Some things like to hang around on, at the top and get the sun, and get a little suntan. Okay. Well, we have some water in here also that got trapped. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take off the bottom because there's really no silt in there. Take a little from this one, from that one. Off the bottom, off the top, off the side. Think like a, a single cell animal, you're trying to hide all the time. Here we have a bucket that's been left, and I want you to look down inside. There's a thin oil film on there, so that'll kill off anything that has debris at its surface. You're not going to find a lot in here, and, but we'll take a sample. If I was sampling this separately, but, but I can tell you by, by experience, there's nothing growing on the side. There's an oil film on the top. I wouldn't waste my time with this. I would stick with things that look soupy and look alive. So let's uh, take one more sample. Remember, anywhere you have standing water, you have life. Especially the longer it's been there, there's more organic material in it, which is all hay infusion is. It's just you put a bunch of stuff in and add water. Now, I could take some of the sludge out and try to scrape it. But this is, this is a soup. This is an example of a soup. There's a lot in here. Wouldn't take that much, really. Take it off the top, but you're going to get some mosquito larvae in here also, which is kind of educational. You're studying metamorphosis. Now let's take a back filter out and see what we got. Thanks.